Well, you'll no doubt be aware of Israel's Iron Dome, which sends rockets into the air and blasts missiles out of the sky. But now Israel is introducing and going to be launching a new system which no longer sends rockets into the air. It uses laser beams. Yes, Israel's now launching a new high energy breakthrough system, high energy laser system, breakthrough system, which is going to be much cheaper. The Iron Dome is very costly. Have a look at this, which is Raphael's Iron Beam, which is finally becoming operational and will be released later this year. completely remarkable and uh for those who are you know just impressed with this and they stop there i say you need to learn how to see the hand of god in the daily affairs of man it is god god's uh preference to work through nature and goodness me look how we're seeing this happening before our eyes i mean we often talk about this in uh philosophical terms uh that god prefers to work through nature but we're literally starting to see how this is happening how we are slowly getting back to a Garden of Eden type existence where all our needs can be taken care of without hard backbreaking labor. You know, through things like artificial intelligence and others designed through partnering with God and the work of man's hands together to do these things. And this iron beam laser <coughs> air defense is such a great example of that. Um, I want to read to you uh, a report done on this to explain the details of it. Israel has used a new air defense laser to shoot down Hezbollah drones in the current conflict in the Middle East. It has been confirmed. So they're actually already using them. What is described as an adapted version of the Iron Beam system made its combat debut last October and the definitive version should be fielded by the IDF later this year, joining an already formidable layered air defense network, something um, which we've seen uh, in Israel's recent military operations. The use of the Iron Beam, also known by its Hebrew name Magen Or, was announced by the IDF and the Israel Air Force and defense contractor Rafael in a joint statement. These three organizations, it said, executed an accelerated development program to deploy revolutionary interception systems as part of an effort that also involved Israel's Directorate of Defense Research and Development. The crash program says the Iron Beam, fielded by the IAF Aerial Defense Array, which used prototypes of the high-power laser to successfully intercept scores of enemy threats. Israeli media outlets described the Iron Beam as initially deployed as a scaled-down version of the definitive system, but provided no further details of how it differed or how the batteries were set up. In its definitive form, Iron Beam is trail trailer-mounted and uses a directed energy weapon to destroy targets, including rockets, mortars and drones. In the past, reports described the system as firing an electric 100 to 150 kilowatt solid-state laser that will be capable of intercepting rockets and missiles. In April 2022, IDF Brigadier General Yaniv Rotem said the Iron Beam has been tested at challenging ranges and timings. The use of a laser is a game changer and the technology is simple to operate and proves to be economically viable. 
That particular test included the interception of shrapnel, rockets, anti-tank missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles in a variety of complex scenarios. Israel is one of the first countries in the world to succeed in developing power laser technology in, uh, in operational standards and de demonstrate interception in an operational scenario. At the same time, the IDF posted a 103 second video online showcasing what it claimed was the system locking on and destroying rockets, mortars and a drone. In general, developing and fielding a practical air defence laser has long been a challenge for many different countries, but for Israel the benefits of such a system are especially obvious. For, now, for years now, the IDF has faced the threat of large-scale barrage-type attacks by one or more of its adversaries, including significant numbers of relatively low-cost rockets, artillery shells, and mortar rounds. Until now, defence against attacks of this kind has been entrusted to the Iron Dome system, which was developed specifically to counter small and fast-flying targets. Multiple accounts testify to the effectiveness of Iron Dome, although this comes at considerable expense since it burns through a significant quantity of Tamir missile interceptors. Larger barrage attacks risk exhausting the stocks of Tamir interceptors altogether, at least in the short term. In contrast, the Iron Beam can engage many targets at a drastically reduced cost. In April 22, Israel's then Prime Minister Naftali Bennett stated the Iron Beam was able to shoot down targets at a cost of $3.50 per shot. He said it may sound like science fiction, but it's real. More recent reports put the cost of a single Iron Beam shot closer to $2.50. Regardless, it's a huge difference compared to the roughly $50,000 price tag, which is among the lowest estimates for a single Tamir interceptor missile. Now, even before the latest conflict in the Middle East, Israel was accelerating its plans to deploy Iron Beam, which was originally expected to go online in 2024. A key driver behind this was the worry that interceptor missiles for the Iron Dome and other systems could be exhausted in a more intense, longer-lasting campaign. Prior to the latest hostilities, it was assessed that Hezbollah had an arsenal of around 130,000 rockets, missiles and mortar shells, while in Gaza, Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad had many thousands of additional rockets and mortar shells. At the same time, there is a growing threat from long-range, one-way attack drones, many of them supplied by Iran, which have also seen significant use in the current conflict. Notably, only Hezbollah drones are mentioned as having been shot down by the interim Iron Beam in the October engagements, although there may well have been other kinds of targets too. At the same time, laser weapons do have limitations, including their short-term magazine depth being limited to how many successive shots they can fire before thermal loads require the system to cool down. Additionally, laser systems don't function as well in heavy cloud cover and other weather. We can only shoot down with a laser what we can see, Rossem told the Times of Israel. At the same time, a laser weapon of this kind is very much a point defence weapon, with its short range meaning that multiple systems will be needed to provide coverage of a significant area. In some situations, even a single very large military base might require multiple such systems to provide adequate defence. With that in mind, Iron Beam is viewed as a system that's complementary to Iron Dome and other kinetic systems rather than a replacement. Once again, we don't know in what kind of form the interim Iron Beam was fielded. Reports indicate it was successful at least to a degree. So what did the State of Israel say? The government says it's the first in the world to demonstrate large-scale operational laser interception capabilities, said Dr Daniel Gold, the head of the Directorate of Defence Research and Development who previously helped create the Iron Dome. Our vision for deploying laser weapons was realised during the war with tremendous technological and operational success. Gold also suggested that the IDF plans to field similar kinds of laser-based interception systems on aircraft and warships. Israel already tested at least one high-powered airborne laser weapon, with the Ministry of Defence announcing in 2021 it successfully intercepted several target drones using a system of this kind. Intriguingly, Israeli defence uh, company Elbit Systems responded to news of the combat use of Iron Beam with a tweet showing an illustration of an unnamed pod-based laser weapon arming an F-16 fighter. The accompanying text stated, At Elbit Systems, hundreds of engineers and experts are working every day on the next frontier, airborne, high-power laser systems. This is our mission. This is our future. Notably, developing and fielding an airborne laser system has proven in the United States something that TWZ had reported on previously, on various occasions in the past, and this is coming from Thomas Ned Nudick of TWZ. All things considered, he concluded, laser weapons are still very much in their infancy, but the fact that Israel rushed a version of its iron beam into service last year indicates just how valuable this technology is considered. 
While laser weapons are not cure-all for def air defense needs, they clearly have a place, and the definitive version of Iron Bean will be a valuable addition to Israel's already impressive multi-layered air defense array. Remarkable stuff. Thank you so much for watching. To watch another one, click here. To stay up to date with all our content, click here to subscribe. And if you're able to, you can help support JTV to grow and grow by clicking join below this video, where you can become a member and get perks, including early access to videos and private live discussions with me. But most of all, you'll be partnering with us on our mission to change the world.